Blinding car headlights make it really hard to drive at night, but doesn't it seem like they've been getting even brighter lately? They actually are. I'll break down why it's so hard to see at night, why car headlights are getting brighter, and six tips to help you see better at night and not be quite as blinded by oncoming headlights. Our vision is worse overall at night because there's just less light around for us to see detail, but the expansion of your pupil at night also makes it harder to see. Your pupils dilate when it's dark out, opening up more to let more light in. But this exaggerates any existing eye errors you have, like nearsightedness, farsightedness, or astigmatism. Here's why. Your eyes are supposed to take in light from far away and focus that light down into a single spot on your retina, the surface on the back of your eye where you have your light-sensitive cells. Your vision could be blurry and you might need glasses, if you are nearsighted, meaning that your eye focuses light sooner than it should, so by the time those lines hit the retina, you can see that they've spread out, making your vision more blurry, or farsighted, where your eye wants to focus the light not quite as sharply as it should, so it hits your retina before it comes to a point of focus and things get blurry, or you could have astigmatism, which is where your eye bends light differently in different directions on your eye. And those conditions affect your vision whether it's daytime or nighttime, but they're worse at night after your pupil has dilated or expanded. Here's why. During the day, that light coming in, if you're nearsighted, is focused sooner than it should, so it is spread out a little bit by the time that light reaches your retina. However, at nighttime, your pupil has opened up more, so the light is still focused to the same early point as it is during the day, but the light's being focused at a sharper angle because of the bigger size of your pupil. So the overall spread of that light, the blur on your retina, is a lot greater at night than it is during the day. Also, your pupil's dilating reduces your depth of focus, meaning the range over which objects are in focus in terms of distance away from you. So these increased eye errors at night cause the bright light from headlights to be distorted and spread out by those eye errors way more than it would be during the day. Large trucks and SUVs also have their headlights higher off the ground, which can make them shine more at other drivers' eye level. And you know how after seeing something bright, it seems like there's an afterglow that sticks around and still messes with your vision? That's called photoretinal bleaching. This happens because the bright light overloads the light detecting cells on your retina, and it takes a little time for them to reset. That bleaching right after seeing bright headlights can make it hard to see the lines on the road, street signs, and even pedestrians. Some eye diseases like cataracts cause more glare, making driving at night suck even more. But there are new types of headlights out there now that are way more blinding than headlights used to be a few decades ago. Headlights used to have a yellowish soft white color because they used tungsten halogen light bulbs, but newer xenon and LED headlights emit a more white or even bluish color. Even if the power output of these headlights is kept the exact same, those whiter and bluer lights stimulate your photoreceptors more, so you perceive them as brighter. Light with short wavelengths, like blue, can scatter around the inside of your eyes a lot more, up to 16 times more than longer wavelengths like red, which causes more glare. This can cause these wild lines and patterns from lights, and their brightness is connected to the scattering effect, any dirt on your windshield or glasses, and the amplified eye errors from your dilated pupils that I just talked about. It's a pretty nasty combo. But thankfully, there are six things that you can do to help you see better at night and not be quite as blinded by these newer headlights. Washing your windshield reduces how much light is scattering off of dirt and other gunk on there. Keeping your eye prescription up to date helps reduce the impact of nearsightedness, farsightedness, and astigmatism. So their exaggerated effects at night won't be quite as bad. Definitely check in with your eye doctor regularly to do that and keep your prescription up to date. Getting an anti-reflective coating on your glasses can help too. That tends to add between $20 to $150 USD to the cost of your glasses, but it can make a big difference. Keeping your glasses clean reduces glare, just like cleaning your windshield. Increasing the brightness of the lights on your dashboard can cause your pupil to constrict a little bit, helping you see better at night. And supplements like lutein and zeaxanthin have proven in a lot of studies to give you healthier pigment layers on the back of your eyes that are better at filtering out the bluish, shorter light wavelengths from those newer headlights. They're also just good for your eye health overall, so they may be worth checking out. 
Some eye doctors are now prescribing eye drops that cause your pupils to constrict and not expand as much, preventing those exaggerated vision errors and glare from your pupils dilating. You can talk to your eye doctor to see if that's a safe option that might help you out too. And you can stop blinding people as much yourself by cleaning your headlights to reduce light scatter and talking to your car mechanic to make sure your headlights are properly aligned. They could be tilted too far upwards, blasting light into people's faces. There's also some brand new adaptive headlight technology that uses over 1 million micro mirrors in each headlight to direct light exactly where it needs to be. This lets the driver see without blinding other drivers by shining the light into their faces unnecessarily. That technology is in the pretty early stages now, at least in the US. It's used more in some other places like Europe, but hopefully it becomes more widely accessible soon. There are also some yellowish night driving glasses out there, but the feedback seems to be pretty mixed as to whether or not those things actually help. Do you think that the newer, bluer headlights are dangerous and should be banned? Or have you had success with any techniques to help improve your own night vision? Either way, let us know down in the comments.